Sonny here. So uh, today we're going to cover SDI by Loudness. As you see my shirt, I uh, went to see them uh, several days ago in Illinois, Cuba Bar. Uh, very excited. I'm still uh, just pumped about the show. Anyway, so I watched uh, Akira Takasaki play SDI and, um, and I just realized how to play this part. So um, still not 100% smooth on playing the part and I don't even know how he does it so fast and so quickly switching hand between the overhand tappings and back down to here so I'm still working on that but I think I got the notes figured out uh, his hand position so we'll kind of go through that so let's go over the intro first I'll play uh, I'm gonna do something a little different here I will play the intro slowly so for uh, people who are, uh, know the guitar well they can just pick out that part without me talking through it and, then, and I'll go through the frets right um, and the note position and all that so the first part the, um, the intro slowly <laughs> part you have to mute all the strings and you kind of uh, get a mute arpeggiate with uh, muting the string so the first part is open A string uh, D7 G5 and B5 and then while your hand is still in the same position you put your pinky over the 8th fret on the A string and play that again play that 8 and then D5 G5, I'm sorry, A8, D7, G5, and B5. So do that twice. And then you move your hands up, you play the open A string, middle finger over 10th fret of D string, G9 with your index finger and uh, B10 with your ring finger. 
and you do those uh, F power chord uh, A8 and then ring finger over the 10th fret of D, G, and B string and you play this uh, play a D5 and G5 and then D5 and G4 so again whole thing So that part right there goes like this. Uh, while I'm playing, so I play the power chord at the uh, D7 and G9 position. And after you play that, you'll go uh, up, down, up, down six times. What I usually do, I count two and then one, two, three, four. So it's two and four. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's easy for me to count. So, and then you play D5, G10, and do the same thing again six times. And then you play a, a G power chord. So, you, but you play this uh, middle position, D5 and G7, two twice and then do the uh, D7 and G9 once. So far we have this. Do the mute again six times and you play it all over again. And then I'll play this uh, D9 G12 play it twice and then you play the uh, power chord F power chord uh, A8 and D10 and you play that and you play a pinky on the 12th fret so. so again as I just you just put a pinky on the 12th fret after you play that power chord. So uh, when you put a pinky on it, it'll be just uh, D, it'll be A7, I'm sorry, A8 and D12. So basically you're playing a uh, F power chord and you add the major 6 interval to it. Goes the uh, 12th fret on the D string. That's uh, that's a D note. That's octave higher than the D, lower D. It's a high D, and D is a major six of F. So the whole thing slowly so far. And play one time faster first. <laughs> Slowly. Um, so you play that twice, and then it goes next uh, riff goes like this. So I'm just playing the third fret on the E string, and then play the uh, open A power chord, which is open A string, second fret of D and G. And up down again, and do the th same thing again, and then uh, even notes uh, A5, A3, A5, D2. So the whole thing goes like this. Next one 
next part the same thing again. You do that twice and you play this G G chord. When I play that G chord, what I'm doing is I play the third fret on the E string with my middle finger and with the, my bottom flesh and my middle finger blocking the A string. And you play the open D and open G string. Play the uh, third fret on the low E again, and then fifth fret on the D string. That's basically octave G, high G, and three and five on the D string. Second fret on the G string, and then you go back to the uh, third fret on the E and A open power chord twice. G power chord again. And this time you play. So that's uh, again you play the uh, E3, D5, and then I don't know D3, D2, open D string. Okay, and that's it. And you and you and you play that again. Actually, uh, when we play the second time, we play that instead of playing the second fret on the G string, we play the exact same note, but we play the seventh fret on the uh, D string. The reason why is that because we're going to do uh, the fast run. So, let's say. Uh, slowly. Sliding a hammer on. So you start from the third fret on the. Uh, uh, by the way, you only use the index finger and your uh, ring finger. So you play the third fret on the D string, hammer on the fifth fret, slide up the seventh, pick the fifth fret again on the D string, hammer on the seventh fret, slide up the ninth, pick the seventh fret on the D string, hammer on the ninth fret, slide up the ten. Pick the 9th fret on the D string, hammer on the 10th fret and slide the 12, pull off 10, slide down to 9. So that's it. And then we'll go to that. Um, overhand tapping part. So you know what, let's stop right now and we'll cover the overhand tapping part in the uh, uh, second video.